Hunt. It is a privilege to be part of the IIARP Levento Conference 2024 and present my research today as we continue to embrace technological advancement in education, especially in criminology. It is crucial to equip students with the necessary tools to tackle the complexities of cybercrime. My name is Cherry Rhea Leonor, and it is an honor to be here today. I hold Bachelor of Science in Criminology and a Master of Science in Criminology. Recently, I completed my Doctor of Philosophy in Criminal Justice with a specialization in criminology from the University of the Cordilleras in Baguio City, Philippines. The title of my research is Educational Technology for the Introduction to Cybercrime Course. This learning material is designed specifically for criminology students to help them better understand introduction to cybercrime subject. With the rise of cybercrime worldwide, it is increasingly important for criminology students to develop specialized skills to address future law enforcement challenges. This study focuses on enhancing the learning experience of students enrolled in the introduction to cybercrime force in the Philippines. By designing and implementing an educational technology tool, the study aims to assess its effectiveness in improving student knowledge and skills in cybercrime investigation. Given the global rise in cybercrime and need for proper education and digital skills, this study focuses on interdictive integration of educational technology in teaching cybercrime to criminology students in the Philippines. Specifically, this will answer the following question. What are the key considerations and requirements in designing and developing an educational technology tool for introduction to cybercrime that is specifically tailored to meet the needs of criminology students in the Philippines, what are the key recommendations for effectively integrating and ensuring the sustainable implementation of educational technology tool for introduction to cybercrime within the criminology curriculum in the Philippines? What is the level of acceptability and usability of the educational technology for introduction to cybercrime course? And how does the implementation of the educational technology impact students' knowledge acquisition and skill development? in the field of cybercrime investigation. To investigate the effectiveness, this study employs both developmental and experimental research methodologies. The developmental approach focuses on the systematic design and creation of the tool, ensuring it aligns with the theoretical principles and addresses the specific needs of the target audience. The experimental methodology is utilized to evaluate the tool's impact on student learning outcomes and engagement, providing evidence to support its effectiveness. With the methodology established, we turn to the findings of the study. Let's take a closer look at the key result and insight gains. So the first key finding highlights that designing an educational technology tool must account for the unequal access to the internet and digital devices among criminology students and faculty. To address this, the tool was developed with flexibility in access and usability, ensuring that it meets the needs of any student facing these technological challenges while still delivering an effective learning experience. The key recommendation for integrating and sustaining the educational technology tools within the criminology curriculum is to ensure its alignment with the core syllabus while providing ongoing system improvement and technical support. The educational technology for the introduction to cybercrime demonstrates a high level of acceptability and usability as indicated by the student satisfaction. This suggests that the tool is effective in enhancing the learning environment. And last, the implementation of the technology tool significantly enhances knowledge acquisition and skill development in cybercrime investigation among selected criminology students, improving their overall, overall learning experience in the field. Based on these findings, these are the several conclusions drawn. The proposed educational technology app for introduction to cybercrime was based on the learning challenges among criminology students brought by an equal access to the internet and digital devices need in the subject. And to effectively integrate 
the educational technology for introduction to cybercrime investigation, incorporate the educational app into the course syllabus and align the technology with course objectives in learn teaching learning activities. To the results and equivocally demonstrate the success of educational technology tool design for the introduction to cybercrime course for criminology students and in the Philippines and implementing the educational technology tool for the introduction to cybercrime course has shown promising results in improving student knowledge of cybercrime investigation. Next are the appendices which provide supporting materials for the study. This include the implementation letter, the test results, and the survey questionnaire. The findings from this study highlight the significant impact of the educational technology tool on enhancing student knowledge on introduction to cybercrime course. As we move forward, it is essential to continue integrating innovative technologies into our curricula to better prepare students for the challenges in the field. Thank you for your attention and appreciate, I appreciate your support throughout this presentation.